guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of My Player. This is episode number four now. You'll be seeing this on Thursday evening. So just a quick reminder, there was a Atletico Madrid episode uploaded earlier on today. If you missed that, feel free to check the channel page for it. But today, the first game of the episode, we've been selected to play against Dagenham and Redbridge in the first round of the Johnston's Paint Trophy here at Sheffield United. You'd think that we'd be able to come out of this with a victory against League Two opposition, quite poor League Two opposition as well. We're up front with Miller today as opposed to Billy Painter. He's on the bench, so uh, hopefully we can continue to, uh, you know, continue to continue our uh, good run of form so far. We've picked up one goal in our two games for Sheffield United so far, so if we can continue that, I'd be very, very pleased indeed. Still playing alongside a fellow partner in a 4-4-2 in the formation so far for Sheffield United. They've not experimented at all with uh, with the formation so far, but as you can see, uh, I've got the player names above the uh, the player heads or the player bodies at the minute, so uh, that's something that you guys requested in the comments because, uh, you know, not only was I struggling to see who was who you guys were as well, so I've added that in just to add a little bit more to uh, to the game so you can see who's on the ball at any particular time and, uh, you know, who scores goals more importantly. If I don't, then uh, we could be in early on, we're not, unfortunately. But yeah, that was uh, thanks to feedback from you guys again, so uh, thank you very, very much for uh, for the continued feedback on this series. You guys have been absolutely superb with, uh, with this series so far, so if you could show this video a like, we could be in no we're not but uh, yeah if you could show this video a like that'd be absolutely superb guys we've hit over 100 likes on every single episode so far so if we could do that again i'd be forever grateful to you but let's try and get a result against dagenham shall we could be in here i've managed to pick the ball up i'm gonna try to step over cut inside get around him and have a whack top corner off the post and it's into the back of the net what a fantastic start i may even do a cheeky celebration in front of him if i can i'm doing some sort of weird shaky thing with my hand and then a heel clicker never mind we'll take a one nil lead in the opening 10 minutes uh, unfortunately we weren't able to get the goal there to be completely honest it was a decent strike but unfortunately it came back off the post but nonetheless it's a team game and uh, the team is one nil in front so we're uh, Fantastic! Let's get more. Oh, Dagenham back on level terms. I didn't think anything was going to come of that. I was holding the button to uh, call for the second man press. I was hoping someone was going to put a foot in and get a tackle in. But unfortunately, <laughs> they decided not to. And Dagenham, as their fans go mental behind the goal, are back in this game at 1-1. It's a good finish, actually. I was holding... You see the second man press was going. He ran up to him and then just stopped. Uh, never mind. Let's, uh, let's try and get ourselves back in front, shall we? Done well. I'm going to call for it. I'm going to try and play him in around the corner. Go on. Can we get an assist? We can get an assist! Fantastic finish. Slotted underneath the goalkeeper. We'll go for a cheeky slide to celebrate. We're back in front. It's Sheffield United 2, Dagenham and Redbridge 1. And I think that... I don't know whether the first goal goes down as an assist for us, considering we had the shot that came back off the post, but that one most definitely is an assist. So uh, we're playing well so far in this one. Hopefully we can now extend that lead. Going in 2-1 up at the break. Fantastic so far. I quite want to see what our match rating is, to be completely honest, because we've been playing very, very well so far indeed. Let's have a look. Player performances. 8.2 so far. Fantastic. Has he given us any assists? He's given us the one assist. He didn't give us the assist for the first. Not to worry. Let's continue into the second half and uh, maybe we can grab ourselves a goal and improve on that 8.2. We put the pressure on. Oh, we might be able to sneak a goal. Oh, it's a great save. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Did really well to nick the ball back. Go on then. Get a turn. Can I turn back inside, get away, and we'll have the shot towards the bottom corner. He's gone into the back of the net. Fantastic finish. We've now got a goal and an assist in this one. And long shots have gone up plus one as well. It's our first goal from outside the box. 3-1 now, Sheffield United cruising through to the next round of the Johnston's Paint Trophy. Fantastic strike. Not the most accurate into the bottom corner, but still into the bottom corner nonetheless. And they've made a change. The manager, or we've made a change rather. The manager's bought on Billy Painter now for Miller. So uh, we've got a different strike partner now. Maybe we can grab him a goal as well and extend the lead even further. Well, that was just an absolute calamity, wasn't it? Dagenham and Redbridge back in the game. That just... 
was a mess defensively, to be completely honest. We couldn't clear our lines. The ball rebounded about. To be fair, I thought the defender was just going to clear this. He didn't win the head. A great save from the goalkeeper, but it hits our man in the face. Falls straight back to a striker who pops it into the back. Well, no, it didn't fall straight back to a striker, did it? It just hit him in the face and went into the back of the net. So we're back to 3-2. This could be... Uh, a little bit more nervous an ending as uh, perhaps we might have anticipated. There we go. They could run off me. Good. There's a man on the overlap. If you can find him, he slots it inside. It's Billy Painter! It's over the bar. The chance to finish the game off. Really nice move from us there. Just the finish left a little bit wanting. He probably could have kept that down a little bit more, if I'm being completely honest. Would have been nice to get that at least on target. Never mind, we are still in the lead, and that is the most important thing. Ah, well, he says. We could be in! We could be in! On the left peg! I don't have a left foot. <laughs> that is a horrible finish, Chase. But nonetheless, that's how the game is going to end. Fortunately, it doesn't cost us. We're going to take a 3-2 win from our first ever venture into cup football. It's Johnson's Paint Trophy. It's Sheffield United 3. It's Dagenham and Redbridge 2. A goal and an assist in this one. Let's see what our overall final rating was, shall we? Man of the match as well with a 9.2. Absolutely delighted with that. 100% pass accuracy as well with the... Uh, 17 passes complete. 16 passes complete. My maths fails me. Well done, Chess. Uh, one goal, 50% shooting accuracy, with uh, a goal to get a goal to shot ratio of uh, not as high as they want from us. To be completely honest, but we've picked up quite a few accomplishments there. Let's have a look at the uh, at the squad report and see how we're getting on. I may cut this episode a little bit short and only have the one game in this, so we can have a look at the uh, the, the squad report and see how we're getting on as a pro. Got an email as well. What's that? Oh, it's just... Uh, oh, no. Jabangu picked up an injury in that game and he's going to be out for three months. That's disappointing because he's been one of our better central midfielders so far. Where can I have a look at the squad report down in the bottom left here? Let's have a look and see how we're getting on, shall we? Where are we? Do, 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 Chesnoid. We go... Two goals in three games, a 9.2 in the lead, in the, the Johnson's paint, obviously, as we've just seen. Average is 7.2, raises the 6.3 average we've got so far. We've gone up a rating to 69 overall. Our acceleration is up one. Attack positioning and interceptions are up two, even though interceptions is still only 29. Uh, ball control is up one. Dribbling, crossing, shot power and long shots are up one as well. So we're progressing quite nicely after just three games at uh, Sheffield United. Very, very pleased indeed. We've played five overall because, of course, we played two friendlies for Chelsea as well in pre-season. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. I'm not going to play any more for today. I want to leave the uh, the rest of the games for the next couple of episodes because, of course, you'll have this again on Saturday lunchtime at 12 o'clock. And uh, considering my ultimate team has been reset, you'll be seeing it again on Sunday at 12 o'clock as well. So uh, if ever you, you don't know what my schedule is, feel free to check the description or the About page on my channel and that will let you know what I upload and when I upload it. So feel free to check that as well. But like I say, that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. That would be absolutely superb. Like I say, if we can get over 100 again, I'll be very, very appreciative to you for that. But that's all for today, so thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.